welcome to another session from the mountain path the world of finance from ravichandran this sessions we will discuss how to calculate call option put option for foreign currency or how to price currency options here we are going to use a model called gormann and kolhagen model and which is a, a modified version of a black shoal pricing model so what all the pre requirements for this discussion today basic understanding of the currency quotations basics of options payoff basics of a black shoal option pricing model inputs assumptions option moneyness put call parity let's quickly go into today's discussions so let's briefly discuss how do you look into your currency pair a currency quotation how do you look into your currency quotation let's take this example one unit of gbp is equal to 1.27223 us dollar so that means one unit of the base currency pound sterling is a is equal to 1.27223 of dollars that means gbp is a base currency dollar is a the quoted currency we can also say in terms of a direct quotation one unit of the foreign currency in this example g pound sterling is equal to some units of the home currency so here the foreign currency in the pound sterling the home currency is the the us dollar so let's quickly go into and because why we are why we need to do deal with the curve because we are going to deal with the currency options where we are going to deal with the two sets of a risk free rate of interest one is a domestic risk free rate and one is a foreign currency risk free rate so when you are dealing with the option the spot price of the the foreign currency related to in terms of the the domestic currency similarly the strike price of the foreign currency in terms of the domestic currency the option pricing we are going to deal with it is option price call option and put option price of a foreign currency or a base currency in terms of the the quoted currency or the domestic currency so you should not have any confusion with the in dealing with the currency quotation and what we are dealing with regard to the options let's quickly go into the the model that we are going to discuss the model is nothing but a modified black shoal model for currency options so it is actually a paper published by mark gorman and steven kolhagen in 1983 in a paper called foreign currency option values in the journal of international monetary and finance so it is a mathematical equivalent of the black shoal option pricing model it is a model which is modified which is already modified to accommodate yield in a black shoal option pricing model let's quickly recap the formula that we did adjustment for a basic black shoal option pricing model when we deal with the yield actually so let's assume yield as q in percentage then we said that d1 calculation ln of s divided by k and risk free rate of interest minus the yield that is r minus q then when we dealt with the call options we said call option is equal to the adjusted spot price into n of d1 minus present value of k into n of d2 similarly put option price is equal to present value of k into n of d2 minus the adjusted spot price into n of minus d1 now so when we say adjusted the we actually what we did the current spot price into exponential minus qt when we dealt with the yield now how are you deal do the adjustment with regard to the currency option here the currency option only the main difference is as per the gorman kolhagen model so the expected rate of return is nothing but the risk free rate of interest in the domestic minus the risk free rate of interest in the foreign currency or or, or nothing but rd minus rf so what are all the three adjustment that we are going to deal with uh, when you are going to handle the gorman kolhagen model to calculate call option put option of a currency so let's quickly call option is equal to s0 into expon exponential minus the foreign currency rate into t so what i call is called the adjusted spot price of the currency foreign currency similarly when you calculate the present value of k here k strike price k is nothing but the strike price the strike price into exponential minus domestic rate of interest risk free rate of interest into time 
then while calculating put option again we will use the present value of the strike price which is again calculated using the domestic rate of interest into n of minus d2 minus the, the adjusted spot price into n of minus d1. So d1 calculation is a ln of s divided by k the difference between rd minus rf rd is a domestic risk free rate of interest rf is a and foreign currency risk free rate of interest. So these are all the three adjustments that we do in the black shoal option pricing model which is already modified to accommodate yield here. Let us quickly go into a simple and numerical example and how to calculate a call option put price of a US dollar and INR and currency pair. So the current spot price let us assume the one US dollar is equal to 82.5 in terms of INR. Let us say the volatility is 15%. And the domestic rate of interest on a continuous compounding basis for the INR is 6%. The domestic rate of interest for the US dollar and is 4% continuous compounding. Let us take the option expire is 6 months 0.5. Let us take the, the strike price as 83. So with these uh, model inputs for the government Kohlhagen model, let us calculate uh, the option parameters. Let us calculate quickly the D1. So D1 as we discussed, we need to ln of s divided by k into domestic rate of interest minus the risk free rate of interest in the foreign currency which is nothing but 6 minus 4 here. So and then calculate d2, d2 there is no change here, d1 minus square root of a, the sigma into time, calculate n of d1, n of d2, n of minus d1, n of minus d2. Then while calculating the present value of the strike price, again we need to remember strike price we have taken as 83, 83 into exponential minus the foreign currency interest, the domestic currency interest rate in time. So we have to use a, for present value of k the domestic rate of interest while calculating the adjusted spot price for the and currency. So 82.5 into exponential minus actually we need to calculate the foreign currency. So again these two small adjustments need to remember. So while calculating the adjusted spot price, take the foreign currency rate of interest and while calculating the, the present value of the strike price, calculate the domestic price. Now the call option price is very simple. That means uh, we use a uh, spot price into exponential that is adjusted spot price into n of d1 minus present value of k into n of d2. Similarly when you use a uh, put, put price, we can calculate the present value of k into n of minus d2 or adjust the spot price into n of minus d1. We can also use a put call parity, call plus present value of k and minus the adjusted spot price. We can also check using put call parity or calculations are correct. So this is a and how to calculate call option pricing, put option pricing model and using a modified version of the black shoal option price, which is nothing but a government Kohlhagen model. Thank you for listening. So we will meet in the next sessions. Thank you.